all right so we are going to today learn how to install a new theme and then on the wordpress we change the navigation menu we change the we delay the sidebars and we change the title of our wordpress so first i log in into my wordpress website which is i enter my name and then i go to wp admin then i log in into the dashboard So now I am logging in onto the dashboard. Now when I log in into the dashboard, I have my this name here. In it. So I go to appearance and I go to themes and I click on themes. Now as soon as I click, you see a lot of themes here. So now then you go to add new on the top. So I go to add new themes. We are using a uniform theme. So we are building an NGO website so we are using um, a foundation so I will search charity here charity so as soon as I search I search for charity I scroll down we are choosing a theme called charity care so I, I scroll down and this is the theme called charity care I just click on install So after installation, you will see that I, I will see install here, then activate will come, then I click on activate as well. Make sure you have a good network in doing it so that you don't have issues with your website. So after installation, I have this site. Now, what I do is that the next is I click here, customize. When I click customize, now I have my theme here. So now I've been able to add it, add my theme. I'm going to customize it. Now I want to change this name. I want to have a name for my foundation and other stuff. So I'm going to also delete everything here. And I will get a, a good this thing here. So this is what I'm going to do. I go to default settings. Then I click on site identity. Now I'm going to delete this Ghana piece here. So what I will do is I will use my name and add foundation to it. So this is the name that I'm going to use is let's say so Fifi Mensa Foundation. So you add your name. Or any company name that you have, then you create it. So I have Fifi Mensa Foundation. Now this is the tagline. This means your motto or your slogan. So our slogan is releasing children for better education. So this is our so we will see it here when we are done you just click on publish now if we have a logo we can select the logo here and this is the site icon so you see like this there is an icon here there's an icon here. so this when you select an icon this is where it's going to but we are just changing the name and the, and the tag after that we go back when you click here we, we go back now we also want to set that our website should have um how do you call it a front page and other stuff so this is what we are going to do when we click on when we come here then we click after changing the site and publish we just come to static front page then we click on it then we go to a static page under the static page we choose a home as our home page we go to the post page and we also choose news after that we go to publish again then meaning that we publish when we are done with the changes we just go back to this side so now we've been able to change our name we've been able to now this is the menu the menu we don't want it this way so we are going to create a new menu and if you want to create a new menu we just go to scroll down and we go to menus 
then when you go to menus we just click the menus then you go to create new menu now you enter a name of the menu that you want so me my menu name is uh, fmf menu so then i choose primary menu meaning that this is going to be my primary menu so i choose as a primary menu the secondary menu is that when you want another menu where you want to put it either on your footer this is the footer or any other thing so that is where you change the secondary you choose a secondary menu and add the menu so now when i've done with my fmf menu i just go to next now under the next it gives me option to add to see now i don't have any pages here on the menu side so now i go to add items now i want to add all these things the first item i'll add is home so i click home now i just click about us because i want about us to come after home i want to click contact us then the last one that i will click is news so after that after clicking all this and i just go to publish then i just publish so now you see that i have home about us contact us and news so this is how we add menu after that i just go back to this side again to the main customizing page now i want to um how do you call it remove all these things here these are called sidebars so i want to remove all these sidebars here so what i will do is that i just go to widgets then i just click on right sidebar now i have all the sidebars so i just click on search i'll just go to remove i click on search i'll go to remove i click on set and the recent comment i go to remove i click on this one like this I go to remove I click on this I go to remove I click on this I go to remove after that I'll just do the publishing and publish it then that is done so now I don't have anything there again this is my website with this on it now you also learned that we can add a calendar which shows our activities that we are. So we are going to add a calendar to on our footer, whereby they will see that oh, we have posted this thing. The calendar has to track the dates, the activities on the website, the dates. So now, if I want to add a calendar to my footer, I just go to the widget side. We are adding this to footer, footer one, so I just go to footer one, and I go to add widget. When I go to add widget. These are the widgets that I'm having. So I just choose calendar. So the calendar will appear this side and it will allow you to enter a title so um I, I will enter this name like f m f event so then after that i'll just go to publish then how does it now as soon as i'm done then i click here to view my website in a new tab maybe um yours will not appear because of cash so we're going to learn how you can clear your cash as well so maybe still if the old one is appearing you just click on your browser then you go to history then the history you, you go to um history again then you just go to clear browsing data when you click on clear browsing data you just go to the basic and make sure that your cache image files is ticked blue you can untick or you can take everything here but make sure your cache file data is ticked blue then you go to this side and you choose all time i can go to advanced to and choose um my cache image also should be blue then after that i go to clear data so all the cache 
and everything that I have will be cleared. Then I can just go and refresh my website. Then I can continue with the work that I want to do. So it will load and it will go off. Then after that, I click this side to close it. I click the history to, to close it. Now I come here, then refresh it here. So after refreshing, you see that now everything is working. Now you see your calendar will not show correctly because now the date on this calendar shows what happened on the website. So on the fourth, something happened on the website. So if, if I click on the fourth, it will send you what happened on the fourth on the website. So on the fourth, you see that day, fourth October 2020, this was what happened on the website. You you posted something here. So it will direct you to what what you posted and where you posted. So this is the end of the um today's lesson. Thank you.